Day 100 of the Moo 3 LAN Party. God, I can't take it anymore. Stop making me come and take these things. Ah! Let's continue playing Master of Orion 3. When we last left off, we have established diplomatic relations with that race. We now have class 2 shields. We have Gauls Rifles, Catalyst Design, which I can't remember what it does. Uh, that's mineral conversion rate of industry, making them better. And... Yeah, other than that, we sent um, we sent some people to a black hole. Hopefully they'll come back, but I don't expect it. In the meantime, we have to go and basically upgrade our fleet again. Well, basically build the upgrades to the fleet. We don't overly need... We don't overly need um, to upgrade things at this time. However, the, scout com the mass conversion module will allow us to build bigger ships, so we want to have a cruiser set up at some stage. Which will most likely be indirect fire, because most of my cruisers tend to be. Thinking on this one, we have Falcon 2s on the build. Which is a lot of frigates. And over here we have some more Falcon 2s being built. So we have plenty of ships available to us here. In fact, we might even be able to build a... Uh, not quite, but we have plenty of other things around, including Troop 2s, which are now built. We're quite glad when we can go up to the next size of ships quite easily because that will allow us to. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, transport squad has to go to Wabir. I can't really attack the Sacra system at this stage because it's probably the home world looking at the free one set up here, unless one of these is suitably. No. They've got a bit of expansion behind them, so we need to. We need to just stay on balance here, I think. We'll go and explore the few areas because we can. We have encountered a new empire. We've encountered the Evon one. Who are okay with us. Honestly, our bad relations we've actually had as race picks don't seem to have affected us at all. What do we have seen else in the zona system? <coughs> Apologies. We have this in the zona system. And it's rubbish. Well, probably rubbish. In the meantime, they're going off on their doomed excursion to a black hole. I was half tempted to take a turn back so I could stop doing that, but meh, it's happened now. And they're mostly ships I can afford to get rid of. So over here we have troop ships, falcons, marines, all on the build. So pretty much the next few turns are fairly automatic. There are diplomacy messages. They want a research agreement, we'll agree to that, because we need anything that's going to help our research out. Meanwhile. We've now seen the Alpha Indy system, which has which has a little more use for us, I think. A couple of easily colonizable worlds, and we'll keep you going along because we can. And four eagles are most likely going to be okay. Can I just put any more task forces at this stage? I can probably build. Long range attack flotilla at this point. So, there we go. Long range attack flotilla, which will be down there in two turns. A couple more of those, and we should be sorted. Uh, miners demanding high pay on a strike. Uh, yeah, damn it. Mining efficiency reduced on Frisch 4 for a few turns, but we got, we got so many minerals, I'm going to have to convert some back to industry shortly. Improve research agreements? Sure, I don't mind that. I'm going to get through things. We already have the fusion drives. That was that was far more rapid than I was expecting. That was far more rapid. Okay, um, then I guess we're actually going to upgrade the fleet again um, in the next few turns. Uh, how what's the technology looking like at the moment on that? Um, see the miniaturized ones. We do not see the next set of engines. However, we do have battle cruisers coming along. Medium armor, heavy mounts, high caliber detection systems. We see a lot of useful things coming up. Uh, no, I didn't order you there. Did I? It's not a problem for you to go there, but... I'm going to have to be careful with um, where I position things in a bit. There's quite a small cluster of things there, but I wouldn't have thought I'd have misclicked that badly. My joe clicked into a black hole just a moment ago, so who knows. 
Um, right. We do need to continue the war effort quite soon. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll have Frisch. Because it is building eagles. We'll speed that up a little bit, actually. What I want them to do is to build that and then build a couple more colony ships. Now, between the various places here, I want a couple more colony ships built. And a mass conversion module. And here, they can build up to the destroyer size. It probably doesn't need the space base, to be really honest. We'll have you build that and then another colony ship. Uh, you actually do need that in order to build them, so that's fine. Uh, that one's the cheaper one. Space environment module. Come on. There we go. That's still very much in production. That's got a lot of things sorted out on it. Oh, yeah. I was wondering why it was one short there, but that is fine. Uh, you can build a colony as well, but we'll have you build it after a minerals processor. Colony. Our home system will at the very least be able to produce a lot of larger sized ships for us. Other things we want to consider is this system. Um, Falcon, Marines, Mass Conversion Module needs to go up, as does the Materials Processor. Right. Now that that's all done, we move on. <coughs> we move on. Eagles have been finished, we've got lots and lots of things built, we don't need all of that. We now have the hard beam um, laser tech, and yeah, we've got spies now arriving, and our one six is getting, I think we need to fix that actually, unless it's now fine. Yeah, that's, that's now green one, it, we don't need any more immigration there. So did I actually set this, yes I believe, did I? Yeah I have. Yeah, I've set that system up. Okay, next up, that is going to go to a black hole and die. Um, you've now arrived at the Webeer system, where there's not an awful lot for you to do. That needs some migration to it. That needs colonization, actually. And that needs colonization. And then the turn. Right, more diplomacy. Let's see what you want. A threat. Well, we're sending in our fleet towards you, so I suppose that's partway relevant. Six turns it would take you to get there. Uh, a long fleet detachment would get there in four turns. It might be worth having a go at trying to take these on. I mean, that's that's very much their home area, and they have a lot of they have a lot of systems. I was supposed to remember they're there. It's kind of faded, so I can't really see their color very well. But we need to we need to do a bit more aggressive um, conquesting. So we're actually going to go for that um, system. I think it's a good plan. All right, that's a new colony ship being deployed. In turn, all right, we're going to blockade the planet rather than attack it for now. Uh, deep loyalty. We now have spaceports. So that's additional funding coming in shortly. And we can now see that's there. Colony heading down to Alpha Indy. They actually survived their excursion into the black hole. Well, I don't see them being a lot of use, so I might actually disband and scrap them now. Meh. It's fine. I now know you can tra sort of travel towards black holes as long as you don't plan on staying there. In the meantime, let's see what this system actually has to offer for us. Uh, yellow one. And that's that's not too bad. We can we can take that. And hopefully we will. Five turns then, or well, three turns actually to get to you there. And five turns for the transports to arrive. Right. Can you get mobilization center in 43 turns? That's not likely. Well, beer system is even less likely. Still, we can deploy a 
another military corps, uh, marine corps rather, which we might as well upgrade to trained because we can fit that, except, and we don't have enough troop twos, do we? Well, we do actually. If we have the troop twos, use them, except. Now also we need to go into the shipyards and go and scrap our troop ships. Right, so plenty of long-range and short-range fighters in reserve. We'll deploy a task force flotilla of each, as long as we have the scouts. Uh, can't build that, but we can build squadrons. Short-range attack squadron, okay. So all of that is going to head over to there, as fast as it can be done. Right, end turn. Still in a blockade because we don't have troop transports there just yet. Diplomacy messages. They want an economic agreement, do they? Apparently they've got nothing we can offer them. Well, we'll accept that. Um, I should really have a look at what they've got, really, shouldn't I? Exchange items. Oh, we have a lot of technology they don't have, which is good. I love the miniaturization techs, if I can take them. Um, what can I offer them for that, really? Level 2, level 3. They want something quite important for it, I think. Improved laser they don't have. Missile shield generator. I prefer not to give them anything which is going to back hurt me later, but I'm 100% sure there's a lot that will work there. I can probably offer them the mobilization center for now. They might even accept that. Alright, blockade still, because there's no point in attacking it. Uh, automated bio core, which increases bio harvest efficiency. As well as smart drugs, which... Um, Increase the population growth. Plenty of various construction projects, and yeah, we need to now consider spies a little now because we are being attacked. The important ones we're going to recruit a military and an scientific spy. Now they're mostly going to be for defense purposes. I'm not. I'm not going to bow into the whole mess of trying to attack with these just yet. Also, they have a carrier fleet heading towards the Zoma system, seemingly. Hmm. Frisch, what are you actually doing? Nothing useful, it seems. Right. Um, build more colony ships. I would have you build larger classes of ships actually but we're not gonna we're not design those just yet until we really clearly need them right now we're gonna assault the planet victory and we're gonna defend the planet there no combat on the Wavir system all right we're gonna control that because our troops haven't arrived yet so we're going to say done they refused our offer of course they did right new system at Revere 6 which is very rich. So let's go and exploit it for all of its lovely, lovely minerals. Uh, meanwhile, we're just going to put one bio-harvest, one government, and two industry there. We can probably afford to put more industry on, but we're, I'm going to now go through a bit of a... Between the next and the next video, I'm going to go through and basically adjust a lot of our higher level planets, we're going to basically turn their mineral production off and convert it all to industry, or a lot of it anyway. For example, I can change this up to industry now, um, and I wouldn't lose anything particularly other than making this world a lot, um, giving this world a lot higher production. And I can do that on probably quite a few worlds because I've got nearly three times as many um, minerals as I have things. Two turns until that transport arrives, two turns until that other group of transports arrives. I'm going to leave you there and deliberately delay you a turn. 57 turns it thinks until that's going to be done. Which I do not like. 
Alright, shipyards. Let's go and design. A long range attack battle cruiser. And what do we want to call our battle cruisers? Um no, we, there is a, there is actually a class of battleship later on, so. Um, blah, 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 blah. Blood! And this is the Blood Mark 1. One. Confirm design. Okay. Now, have we actually designed beyond what anyone can build? Which is very likely, actually. Have we just, have we just done all that? Um, yes, actually, we can't actually build battle cruisers because we haven't got the. Um, we haven't got enough of that. We do want command centers because I don't think we've actually built any of those yet. But still, they're there. I might, I might be able to redesign and rename it before it actually gets made, but. Let's then go for a slightly lower thing. We'll go for a light cruiser. Long range attack. So it has four laser cannons and one mass drive, and that seems quite terrible, actually. I mean, it's lots of medium armor, fusion drives, impulse engines, class 2 shield, ECCMs, but doesn't actually have any weapons. No, we don't need that. Even that's quite poor, really. We don't need it. We'll wait until we get the next class of um, things. We'll intercept the fleets. No combat. Alpha Indy 5 is now done. Um, not that you can read it, but it is done. Let's go and set some migration there. Let's actually just make sure... Up in the five, and the Wabir system. We don't need a migration there, so mm -hmm. that's fine. Let's sort by mineral production. So this is our highest uh, mineral production world. Um, Frisch is our highest industrial world. So yeah, we're gonna. We're going to trade two of those to industry. In fact, we're going to trade all of these to industry for now. It doesn't. We don't need um, minerals on the home world. Right, now we're going to assault the planet. Victory. AI control. AI control. We gain ground. Now, um, oh, we didn't actually explore the media system, did we? Which is a very poor green one world, and not a lot else. Right. What I do not want to do really is go and support with another troop transport and just um, have things happening. Colony ship heading to there, colony ship heading to Yak. Let's go and explore that place for now. Blockade. Yeah, control. We should take that now. Gain two more regions. Uh, encounter a new race. Who are the... Um, I forget what they're called, actually. But they hate us. Excellent. Excellent. We have people who hate us. That's much better. We know how to deal with people who hate us. We crush them. Dealing with people who apparently are indifferent to us is a bit more of a challenge. Alright. So that'll arrive there. We now have our two systems here, so we don't need um, any more migration. So that's all good. You are ages away from actually building that um, mobilization center, but that's not so much of a problem. Um, right, next up, more turns. We're going to intercept the fleet that's arrived. More air combat. We have conquered the planet. Plo pending diplomacy messages. Yay, he's imposed sanctions. Actually, I didn't check. Are any of you actually on the Orion Council? Some, well, some of you has to be. You're on the Orion Council. Alright. Though apparently you might be the only member. Because obviously we're not. 
Oh no, they're on there as well, actually. So, so a two-person Orion Council. Excellent. Right, now that has been taken, we can actually then consider... Um, oh, this really doesn't have a lot going for it, does it? Let's put some military, let's put some government on there. Let's go and put some more industry on as well, actually. And industry. We might need some food at some stage, because our food isn't quite as ridiculously high as our mineral val minerals are, but that's fine. So with the two options, I think we're going that way with our next conquest. So that way we go. Uh, diplomats, the Octri ah, we have two wars now against us. Excellent. And what do you want? Uh, you want an economic agreement, sure. Right, so war were declared. Um, oh, very low EVE on... Um, See, we got another race into our empire, and now we got all of their. Um... Oh, we now have a connection between Mentar and Lupus. Hurrah! Don't know how long ago that happened, but it's there now. It's it helps. So, uh, more task forces, I think, because we're going to need something soon. Let's have a long-range attack wave. Except that now all of our now done it. Cancel shipyards, fleets. Scrap obsolete. Do not want obsolete ships cl There we go. Assault. Victory, although they took some damage there. We need to upgrade the fleet now. Uh, control. Uh, control. Victory. Right, diplomacy messages. They're imposing sanctions on us and they are attempting to approve our research agreements. Right. Actually, I was wondering where they were, but uh, they're actually... Oh, they've expanded quite rapidly here. Alright, we're number... we're race one. They're the weakest race, and considering I think we eliminated one of them... I know the... Uh, actually, Ryan wouldn't be on this victory list, I don't think. Current balance of naval forces, we are... Current balance of naval forces says we are dominant. Um... But that's another conquest done. It's a sweet spot world for them as well, actually. So, excellent. That will expand rather rapidly. Uh, rich as well. So I think just putting another industry on is probably the best bet, actually, for that last slot. Because we're always at need of more industry. And... Why well, can we put the government stuff there? But that should we don't have a government. Don't have a government thing on there, so we'll change that. Right, next up, we need to go and consider the Wazat system. However, based on things, I think we might need to actually wait at least until we got a closer um, closer mobilization center, or at least another defensive um, fleet up here, anyway. So what I'm going to do then, as I say off screen, I'm going to reshuffle some of our industry producing worlds around. Or at least get some, whatever our best industrial producing worlds are, we're going to improve that by um, getting rid of the mining facilities and replacing them with industry. We're then going to design the next upgrade set, next ship upgrades. Because looking at this, we have, ir we have the Iridium fuel cells, but not the, um, which is fine, that allows us faster movement in combat but not the faster movement outside of combat. Miniaturized fusion drives as well, Unity Defense Grid, ECCM2. But I'm basically going to upgrade every single f ship we've got thus far and see where we can go with that. I'll also set up a few automated um, instructions for world systems because I've, there's been so many colonized worlds that I just have not done anything with. This one, for example. Very, very rich mineral world and it's yeah, I suppose that's not too far away. Or maybe I did do that one. But there's plenty of worlds that have just been colonized that I have had virtually very little input into. So I will go around and sort that as well. So next time then, more Master of Orion free. Until then.